Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I went through and raided a couple people's home bases. If you guys would like to take part in anything I do like this in the future, uh, remember to join my Discord. It's down in the description if you guys want to take part. If I'm doing a uh, part 3 of this video or anything just like this, I post this first to my Discord and then whoever replies usually gets to enter into it. So if you guys want to join stuff like this, just join my Discord. But in the video, I am going through and raiding people's home bases. I did part 1 of this. And I feel like I raided people's bases a bit harshly, so I'm gonna try to, you know, be a bit more generous with the points and everything. But I'm gonna stop holding you up. Let's go and get right into the video. It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you. Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom. Sunshine whenever you smile. All right, we've just gotten to the first person's home base, which is Cat Skull over there. I have not turned around yet. He says it's behind me. So, for the first one, this is going to be our build, which I've actually seen an image of this. He sent it to me, and I believe it looks pretty cool. He built it over the lava pit. I've built something over my lava pit at one point in time, but just off the exterior and appearance, I think it looks pretty good. If I can try to get farther back. But yeah, off just the exterior, I think it looks pretty great. So, that's already giving him a solid start. But, if you look around, that is the only thing so I have to base off of. Usually bases have quite a few things around and scattered. So, that will, I would say, deduct a point or two. And, like, out of my, like, standards. But some people will like just one structure. He has a roof on the overall thing, which I do like that part. I guess this is the center about? Something like that. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, I think that's centered. That's something like a center, right here. But, we're going to go ahead and go into it because we don't want to spend forever on each build. So, where's the way in? Oh, it's right here. So, as we go in, it actually looks quite nice. And then he has an overall area where you can look down into the lava pit. I like that. Solid, solid. It actually looks really good. Oh, I didn't even know it actually pushes wind up. I, mean, I, I thought the wind does anything. Yeah. You just still fall right in. But. Oh, he didn't upgrade at all. We'll see that part. We ain't supposed to see that. Alright. But overall, I think it looks really good for. I mean, it's, it is the only structure, but I guarantee this does take up quite a bit of structures for all of it. So. I'm going to give it a solid, I would say, 6 out of 10 overall for his base. Because it does look really cool for the lava pit. Because you don't always see a lot of lava pit builds. Especially in Twine. You usually just see stuff just around it. So, solid 6 out of 10, I think I said. So, that's going to be our start off. So, let's see if we can go up from here. But if not, then he'll be the winner. But, let's go and move on to our next one. Alright, and we're at our next base. So... Off the bat, it's kind of similar to our last face, which I just now realized. I think this one may be a bit better, because I like how we actually went down and into the lava. And then he also has it like right here around a storm show before the other guy had to walk out in it. But that gives you a nice view of the exterior. But I do really like it because of the way it goes around the lava. I would say that's my favorite part, because lava illuminates that bottom part. Oh, it seems he broke something. And then, right here, I guess the stairs down. Run all the way down. Oh, I didn't expect it to go all the way down. I expected him to stop at each floor. But no. Alright, so, my guess is this is as low as the stairs take you. And then from here, you jump down to where you want. But, it's a solid base. My assumption is that I'm pretty sure it's the only thing he has in his base. But, I am think I'm gonna probably get the same score as the last one. Because it's basically the same thing. I mean, I do like this one more, though, so if it comes down to those two being the highest, nah, I, I guess I'm going to give it a 7, then, because if it comes down, then they would give it a tie, but I do like this one quite a bit more than the last one, so I think I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. It's a very good base, but we don't have all day to go over everything, so I think we're about to head over to the next one if there's not anything over here, because I am following around because he's supposed to show me. And... Oh, I think this is just like a trading box. Something like that. Pretty simple. But, yeah, I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. I like it. It's nice. And right here is this geyser to shoot yourself up. Up we go. Oh, actually, I thought I would shoot it all across. Well, let's move on to the next one. Solid 7 out of 10. 
So, see you guys there. Alright, and then we're on our next person. So off the bat, it's not looking half bad. He gets this area real open, but I'm feeling the vibes, I ain't gonna lie about that. Then, it's not really a castle, I feel like it's more of like a mansion. I mean, it's not neither. But, you know, this over here, it's some. I don't exactly know what it is. I know it's not a castle or a mansion, because a castle would have more towers and everything. I don't... I think he said he wasn't done upgrading, as you can see with a lot of brick and everything. He had never finished. But overall, I mean, it's quite open. I don't really like that part, so I would lose a couple points how open it is. But overall, it's looking pretty nice. I mean, this is like the main area your eyes are supposed to be drawn to, though, because that's like the main area he's been building up. You can easily check by that, and then you have stairs up here to walk. But I'm, I'm thinking it's solid. Like, I'm not trying to rate everything as harshly as I did in the first video, like I said in the beginning. But overall, I think I'm gonna give it another six out of ten, like the first guy, because I don't want to just like drop it to a five out of ten. Cause I do think that the space is quite good, but there's still a lot of stuff you could do to it to make it better. But I think I'm gonna give it a solid six out of ten overall. But, I don't really know what I'm saying. All I know is I have quite a few more people to go through. And solid 6 out of 10, flat out. I know I said that in the first one as well, but... We're just gonna move on to the next one, and let's just see if it gets worse or better from here. I couldn't tell you. Alright, let's see. I'm already kind of getting similar vibes from the last base, but... Nah, that changes quick. It's just this little area. Because the last guy had a pretty open base, but he had walls everywhere. So, you going for like a little village, right? That's my assumption what this is. Cause you got houses and everything, yeah. So we're going for a little village. We got walls around it. Then we got a castle, flat out. Alright, I see, I see you with the castle. I didn't think you are going to come uh, come in as high as last time. Because last time, Power is the one who had won. If no one watched the first one, you guys can go watch that. I can link it down below. I'm not sure what this part is. What is this power? Or is this just extra parts you didn't finish to your wall? While you go ahead and explain that part, whatever that is over there, I'm going to go ahead and fly up here to the top of your castle. I am liking the colors, how you actually went through and only upgraded majority of it to white, and you have all the edited pieces really to black. It was a castle, but... I yeah, you probably did hit building it pretty fast with this. Like... This castle does look really nice. It also does basically go up to max height with how high it is. Because you probably didn't have much higher considering how high that was. But that, that castle does pull you up by a couple points. I really do like it. It looks nice. But... Uh, I don't know what to really rate, man. Because... The village, you can't really do much with houses. I understand that much, and you tried. And you have the walls around it. Mm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna give you... 7 out of 10. <laughs> I feel like I'm staying in like the same range as I was uh, originally, because the last couple people have been getting around the same score, so... But, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Currently, your draw for first, and... And move on to the next base. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, we're at the next base. So this is the spawn. It's the tower. And this is the little thingy bobber that goes on the storm shield. Thingy bobber, alright. Where you at? Okay. Uh, I'm and over here. If you, if you walk down here, you can get down here where we have finest warriors trash. And when you get your storm shield, then you can just jump up through here if you're lazy. And then we have another tower. Oh, we gotta jump up the stairs, alright. Oh, I can't do anything about that. Then if you come back down here, actually under these stairs. Oh god, we're going in the other way. Other way? Alright. Move steps to some stuff. Okay. And look, it's a it's a trading room, and then when you open this door, you're right by your storage. <laughs> if you got to get anything, mm, trash there. So my biggest question: What are those in the sky? That right there? Oh, uh, twinkle toes. 
Oh no, they're, they're bats, and then you've got your uh, wing. They some the special made wing. bats. I know. All right, you got some tower there. What's this back over here? What? This. Oh, okay, okay. So this is this area. Yeah, there's just a lot of towers, but look, look. This pickaxe. is my Minecraft iron pickaxe. Yes. Yeah. Wow. It's an interesting yeah, pickaxe. If you, mm -hmm. if you come over here, and then go down here. This is like if you want to host some giveaway live stream. I don't know why these barriers are here. <laughs> Um, we may need to speed it up a bit because we can't have then the. Then you uh, can go forever. on your hoverboard down here to the giveaway area and then bam, giveaway. I hope it's the right in there. And then this is just a giant area. I guess you can ride a hoverboard around. And then basically, there's tons of miscellaneous towers. You can walk up in that tower and go across there. This is like a shop. Yeah, it's a shop. Alright, is that all? No, there's more. Oh, okay. There's just this other tower. D do we need to go over there. everything? Yeah, so th there's this random architectural design because I'm cool okay. like that. Then there's this house, then this house which has a basement where you put your kids and then grow them with flame grow traps. Okay, I think uh, I think which we get your base just zero. A trading room. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I think we got enough for your base zero. No, 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 there's two more virulent. Things. We gotta leave time so for other people. This is what I call the PP de decapitation tower. Okay, I think okay. we're gonna cut it there. I'm gonna give you a solid. No, 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 no we're no, gonna no, cut no, it no, there. No, I'm gonna no. give you five Look. out of ten. Look, he has. No, 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 no. And then there's this infinite looking tower up here. I don't like, think really it was high. infinite. I'm pretty sure I can see the top right there. No, you can't see the top. You just, you just think you can see the top, but it keeps going. You just don't know. Oh, okay, but yeah, zero. Like I said, I'm gonna give you a decent five out of ten overall. Bro, I should have won this thing. I literally got a tower that looks like a human and has a beak. Okay, it's a very nice base. I do like it. You get a five out of ten. I'm going around the next person. See you guys there. All right, we have our winners. We have two people tied for first and two people tied for second. One of the players couldn't be here because they are offline and they didn't respond in time, but they'll still get the reward. They just need to message me whenever they get on. So. Out of all three of you, we've had our predictions, so Gamer here is thinking that Power and the offline guy came in first, and then OP and him were second. OP, what are your predictions? You think you got second or first? You can just type it in chat if you don't feel comfortable talking. May take a minute. You think you got second? Well, I'm going to drop the first place prize real fast. All right, now we have all our rewards dropped. We have our first place, then we have our two second places on the side. I'm going to divide them up so they don't take the wrong ones. All right, we're gonna do the first place. We're gonna do it first. All right, so out of everyone here, there was two first place, obviously, but for there's only one of them that are actually here. And that one of you will happen to be power, of course. Ah, oh, failed my edit. I didn't think power would come first, to the truth. Go get your stuff, go her. And then, since I've already said uh, the that there's only one of you here, the other two of you are actually second place winners. So, OP, just walk up into that one. it all up I really don't feel like editing that wall <laughs> and then you'd of course get that one oh get it faster next time man powers inventory seems to be full he has to join on his ult account here in a minute but out of all of it how long did each of you guys take to build your bases so we have like an idea of it gamer didn't you say it was two days for you yeah Power estimated the last time you built your base, how long do you think it took? And then same thing for you, OP. OP says about a week, and he got second for it. And then Power says... Come on, Power, waiting on you. Come on. Uh, 
Power said I, I did most of mine while a while ago, but six to ten hours. So power took the shortest amount of time and came in first. It could be skill or it couldn't. I don't know. We're gonna close up power's box. The rest of you guys can come out. But I may be doing a part three to this in the future. I'm not sure, but that's really gonna be about it for all the winnings. All right, that's gonna be about it for the video, but I did mess up. OP did actually get first with power. I gave him a lot more stuff after I realized that I checked the clips because I felt like I misjudged everyone. So I was like, I went back checking my clips. OP got first with power. Then uh, Cat, he will get his stuff in the future. It's just he was not online at the time when I was when everyone else was. So I was like, majority of the people are on. I'll go ahead and record it and only you know, maximum of Three of the players besides the host can be in the Storm Shield, so I was like, eh, we'll just go ahead and do it. And I do owe Cat his second place surprise, but I do think that I may have, like, kept judging people around the same area. I think I may need to be a bit more harsh and less generous as I thought with the points, because I didn't realize how well I was giving them out. I kept literally giving out the same amount of points, so I do need to kind of fix that a bit. But uh, I'll see you guys next time for another video. If it's going to be another rating home bases or just some Minecraft or Fortnite tutorial, that's going to be about it. I'm logging off, guys. Bye.